Hello, it's MZ here. I just thought I'd do a tarot tag today. I've seen it on YouTube everywhere. It's the 21 tarot questions by, it was made by Lisa Papez. And she sort of done it as like on top of her head, what decks that she thought of as soon as the question came out. So I thought I'd do the same thing. So let's get on with it because there's 21 questions and I want to be here for ages. <laughs> so number one is, what is the deck you'll have to pry out of your cold, dead hands? Well, it would have to be this, the Tarot of Leonora Carrington. She's a surrealist artist and she did a majors only deck. And I just, I love it so much. I don't even dare open it. That's how ridiculous I am. I'm scared to look at it. I don't want to ruin it. The artwork's in the book. It's a proper collector's piece. And I spent a fair bit on it. And this is what the book looks like when it came with it. Yes, the art is there. It's just an amazing surrealist artist. And so much great pictures and stuff. We admire her work. And I think it's ridiculous to have her tarot deck. I won't open it because there's pictures of it in the book that I can look at. <laughs> I'm just too precious with it and it's so stupid. So these are like the major only cards. Absolutely beautiful. Look at death cards. I love her work. So yeah. I'll be buried in this thing. It's so precious to me. I'm just a huge surreal art lover and yeah, that's that's the one you'll have to pry out of my cold head hands. <laughs> Question two is what's your guilty pleasure deck? I had to go with Supernatural. One of my favourite TV shows of all time. Followed it right from the beginning. Love that show so much. And yeah, I just love this deck. Just like, I'm part of the fandom. I love the characters. It's pippish, but I don't care. Because I just had to get it for the pictures of the characters. So yeah, that's my little guilty pleasure deck. Question three is, what's the deck you wish existed? Another favourite artist of mine is Laurel Birch. I love her art. It's incredible. That's the sort of art she does. And she's been one of my favourite artists from a young child. So I used to collect uh, cat figurines. And yeah, she's a very inspirational woman. She lived with chronic illness, but she still managed to create art. She even painted with her mouth sometimes when she couldn't paint. And yeah, there's a really good uh, YouTube video on about her life. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. But yeah, she's an amazing artist and beautiful soul. Wanted to show like happiness with our artwork, I wanted to bring joy to people and I just love it if there was a tarot deck with her artwork. She's just such an inspirational woman. So yeah, I'd love a deck created by Laurel Birch. Question number four is What deck would you give to a new reader? And that'd be an RWS deck, the Albano Weight, because it's colourful. So why not? Don't want the boring colours, want the bright ones. But you want those traditional imagery so they can learn it. So that'd be what I'd give to a new reader. Question five is, what deck do you want to get along with, but it just never clicked? And that would be the Terror of the Holy Light. I just 
love the aesthetic of this deck. It's very like alchemy looking, but it's just so much going on, so much to learn. There's a huge textbook which I haven't got around to reading yet, so I still can't get my head around all the imagery and the symbolism, what's going on there, and it's a, a study deck for sure. And yeah, I just ain't got my head around it yet, but I'd love to learn it. It's just incredible, it's beautiful. So yeah, future study deck for me, I think, because I have no idea what's going on in the cards. Question six is, what deck do you only keep for the art? And it's a surrealist tarot because it's surrealist art and I love it. So that's the only reason I have it is because I just love the artwork and the style. And the whole reason I bought it in the first place because it's surrealist art and it's so beautiful. There's the deck I'd keep for the art. Number seven is what deck did you buy because everyone else did? Moonchild Tarot. This was everywhere online. And I was like, what is the hype? I need to know. So I bought it. Fortunately, not that great a reader for me. I didn't, haven't really used it. Still in order. It's okay. It's not my type of style. It doesn't really um, speak to me. Maybe if I work for it a bit more, I'll learn to love it. But yeah, I just got caught up in the hype. <laughs> Number eight is what deck? Is over your head or just baffles you? And that's the Prisma Visions Tarot. I know these pictures will make up one big image, but I just can't read with this deck. It just really confuses me. It's just so different to RWS, and that's what I'm really used to. And it's just so out there and don't get me wrong, it's absolutely stunning, but it just baffles me. I just can't get my head around it. I don't understand. <laughs> but I do love it. It is nice. But yeah, I haven't really used it because I don't really understand the imagery. Next question is number nine. What deck surprised you? That was the Heart Intuitive Tarot. Didn't expect to like this deck very much. But then once I've got it in my hands, it's just the imagery was quite impactful and I could read with it straight away and I was quite surprised. So yeah, it's really, really pretty artwork. And just an easy reader for me, that's why it surprised me so much. Yeah, really pretty. Next question is... What deck doesn't really work for you, but you keep it because it's a collectible? That would be the Crow's Magic Tower. I just love the way how retro the vibe is of this deck. So cool. Very 80s, 90s vibes. But it's just like all over the place with the symbolism and random animals and stuff. It just never clicked with me, but I'll keep it because it's quite out of print, I think. And yeah, it's just out there of the artwork. Next question is, what deck is your favourite gilded deck? I'm not really a fan of the shiny gilding on decks. So I like the one from the Tarot Disassembled, but it's like a orangey red map. Gilding, I just really like it. So yeah, that's my favourite gilded deck. Next question is What deck do you love but hate the card stock? Gotta be this one. Tarot Transformation. 
parcel is so thin so paper thin i'm too scared to even use it I'm scared i'm going to um rip it and ruin it and it, you can't get it anymore and i'm just terrified of ruining it so maybe if i ever got myself a backup copy i might bring myself to actually use it <laughs> but i'm just too precious with it i just so i love the imagery but it's just paper thin next question what deck gives you the willies got to be this one dark grimoire quite disturbing imagery some people will not like it at all very creepy and um, yeah it's just stuff of nightmares <laughs> look at that look that's dark isn't it it's the darkest deck i think i have really out there creepy vibes i thought i'd get it for shadow work but i haven't used it for that yet because it's a bit too dark which leads me on to the next question what deck do you use for shadow work deviant moon a little bit creepy but not as creepy as the dark grimoire that's for sure so i can actually use this one and use it for shadow work Ooh, all over the place. So yeah, this is what I'd use for shadow work. Next question is, what deck do you love in theory, but not in practice? deck I love in theory, but not in practice, is the Dream Keeper's Tarot. I have tried so hard to connect to this deck, and I've really struggled with it. I know the, the guy book is really, really well written it's really good but when i look at the imagery it just doesn't jive with me like i really want it to work i worked with it for a while about, about a few years ago when it first came out and it's just, yeah it's just me and this deck just weren't getting along so i will try again at some point so i do really like it but some of the imagery is like my sort of style but yeah just, Wish we could get along with it more, but it is what it is, I guess. Number 16 is, what deck would you never use to read for someone else? That would be this teeny tiny deck, because it's so small, no one will be able to ever see what the cards I'm putting on the table. I think it's called, who's it by? Dennis Fairchild, it's just called Tarot, there's no like particular name for it. But it's so small, it's good to get them out. Yeah, there's no way you could read with this because it's tiny. <laughs> I'll get them out. I'll pack jam in there. No, not coming out. But yeah, a teeny tiny terror. <laughs> what deck would I never use for myself? I'd use all my decks for myself. Maybe that little tiny one. Maybe I wouldn't because I can't even get out of the box. <laughs> and yeah, number 18 is what deck could you not bring yourself to buy? And that would be the wild unknown. Never understood the hype over that deck. Baffles me now. I just don't understand why it was so popular. It's just pictures of animals in black and white backgrounds. Maybe I'm missing something, but I just really didn't understand that deck, so never bought it. I just didn't, I didn't like get influenced by hype. I just I just knew that one worked for me. Number nineteen is what's your favourite pit deck? That's the outsider art. I was disappointed that this was a pit deck. Because I love the major so much. But I bought it anyway because it's just really pretty. Yeah, the majors are so nice. And I wish they just did it for us for the miners as well, but they didn't just get sticks. 
The only good thing is they got keywords at the bottom. That's still a bit disappointing. Court cards are still pretty nice. They are uh, very basic, thick cards. It's still one of my favourites because I like all the other imagery in it. And I can still use it with keywords because. So, yeah, that's my favourite pip deck. And then number 20 is what deck slaps you with the truth? That'd be my workhorse deck that I use all the time. Everyday witch. Pulls me out on all my rubbish. When I don't want to listen and I reshuffle the deck, the same card will pop out that I already dealt and didn't want to look at and ignore it. And it's like, no. You will listen to me. <laughs> I will slap you with the truth. Yeah, I just, just love this deck. Pulls me out on all, all my stupid thoughts. <laughs> and number 21 is what's the deck that got away? That'd be the Zephyroth Tarot. It's online for a like, really high price. The artwork's amazing. But I won't bring myself to spend that much on that deck. Maybe I will in the future, but I really don't want to right now. But I'm gutted. I almost got it for a really fair price. And it slips away from me because someone bidded it in like five seconds of the bid and I was horrified and really angry. <laughs> but it is what it is. One day I'll own it probably. But it's not today. So yeah, that's all the 21 questions from... The tag. Hope you enjoyed listening and looking all the decks with me. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. And um, look forward to watching everyone else's tags. Been doing it, been going for a while, and I've been watching them. That's really interesting. A lot of people's um, answers to these tags. It's really interesting. So yeah, see you later, guys. Bye.